As soldiers' shots ring out, demonstrators respond with fireworks. They've erected barricades to slow the army's advance into the southern city of Bago. The crackdown has been harsh. Several local sources say the security forces used rocket launchers in their assault. Dozens of people were reportedly killed. The hunt for pro-democracy protesters continues throughout the country. In this amateur video filmed in Pei Khan, soldiers open fire on an unarmed civilian trying to escape. More than 600 people have been killed since the coup two months ago, though the army has downplayed the crisis. Our government and ministries are now running well. In the health sector, the military doctors from military hospitals are taking part in providing health care services. We believe it will go back to full operation soon. The army's violent crackdown against its citizens continues to have international repercussions, too. After criticizing the military coup, Myanmar's ambassador to the UK was locked out of his embassy by colleagues loyal to the regime a move condemned by the British government. Meanwhile, the UN special envoy for Myanmar has arrived in Thailand as part of efforts to find a diplomatic solution to the post-coup crisis. However, the military has rejected the envoy's request for a visit.